Hello, my name is Jeff Knox, and I would like to demonstrate a tool called a lathe and some of its basic operations. Um, I'd like to talk just a little bit about the history of the lathe. Um, it dates back to ancient Egypt, perhaps around 1300 BC, and it started out as just a a rope that one person would would pull to turn a piece and a second person would use a sharp tool to cut shapes into the piece of wood that was turning. Um, a few thousand years have passed since I purchased this lathe and the technology is updated a little bit but not much has really changed where we still have a rotating piece that is held in a chuck and we use a tool to cut shapes into the piece that's rotating. So the the operations that I would like to discuss today are um, the facing operation, turning operation, and uh, drilling. Uh, drilling is, is interesting because it's a little bit different than most of us are used to. So I'm going to demonstrate these. Um, but first, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the different parts of the lathe. This piece here is called the carriage. It allows the the cutting tool to go back and forth. And this here is the cross slide. And it allows the uh, cutting tool to go in and out. And the cutting tool is mounted up here. So I have the piece chucked up in the, uh, this is a four jaw chuck. And I will turn it on. Now the first operation is the facing operation where we bring the carriage up to the piece, move the cross slide in a little bit, and normally we just we turn the, the, the bring the carriage close to the cutting, bring the cutting tool close to the piece until it just touches. And we can normally see shavings and we can hear it. Then we can lock the carriage in place. And when we bring the cross slide in, it will cut the piece and make it nice and square. Usually the piece will be roughly sawn to size. And then with the facing operation, we make it nice and smooth and square, and we can get the length exactly how it is supposed to be. Now we can unlock the carriage. And the next operation I'm going to show is the turning operation, where it's kind of the opposite, where we bring the tool in with the cross slide until it just touches the piece being cut and then we use the carriage hand wheel to cut lengthwise across the piece. So I'm going to turn the dial in um, it'll take about 20 thousandths cut across this piece and you want to turn it nice and smoothly so that we don't get any gouges. And you can see all the shavings building up there. So now the piece is 20,000 smaller than it was initially. Now the third operation I'm going to show is the drilling operation. And I'm going to place a drill bit in the drill truck and the drilling as I mentioned earlier is a little bit different it's kind of interesting because the drill bit actually doesn't move it stays stationary we can go in and out with the drill truck but the bit itself doesn't turn, but the piece turns around the drill bit. 
You can see as I insert the drill in, the drill doesn't turn. We can see shavings coming out. And the piece just turns around the drill bit. So this kind of blew my mind at first to see how that works, but it does make sense if you think about it long enough. So those are the, um, the three basic operations that can be performed on a lathe. Um, if you combine those with, with a few more, you can build just about anything you can imagine on the lathe. Um, the lathe's been around for a while, and it's going to be around a while longer. I would suggest if, if you have a friend that has a lathe, um, see if you can play around with it. It can be a lot of fun. Thank you.